Now I know what you're thinking. Kaylin, you're answering questions. You must really be out of ideas. And to that, my friends, I say, Precisely. I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me the juiciest, deepest questions that you could possibly think of. Thank you so much for all of your weird questions. You don't understand how happy they all made me. I read through them for like hours because they were so interesting. And I know that I've, you know, had situations like this with you. Okay, I did a Q&A type of thing while I was doing my get ready with me thing a while back, a couple months ago. And I guess it seemed like it was like this kind of video in retrospect, but then I was watching it back. And some of the questions were, um, I got a very meaningful question and it says, you're actually Mariah Carey. Yes, it's true. I am Mariah. Yeah, so I just didn't think that those were the kind of questions that the people wanted to know, but I could absolutely be wrong, but I'm definitely not wrong because I'm always right, so. <laughs> anyway, I'm not gonna read off all the usernames because number one, I'll butcher them. Number two, some of these, so these people, I really honestly am starting to wonder if they actually want their usernames in because I got some really interesting questions. Anyway, the usernames will be on the screen. If you see your username, hey queen. So the first question, this one is probably the darkest question out of the whole bunch. I, I started like sh shaking when I read this one. It says, um, you low key want to be a TikToker. Um, and I didn't want to have to ever tell you guys this. I know that this was supposed to be just a fun, you know, question and answer video. And I really thought that it was going to be just that, but I saw this question and I knew that I just had to address it. Uh, you know, sometimes I wish I was a TikToker. Uh, I just think that if I was Charlie D'Amelio and I got 600,000 million trillion views and likes on every video and I was making money for being like, renegade, renegade, my life would be so much simpler. <laughs> but I'm not Charlie D'Amelio. Or am I? This question says, what are your weird thoughts? This one could go a lot of ways. I have a lot of weird thoughts. My brain is what I would call a, um, you know in McDonald's, they have those play sets. This is me painfully and embarrassingly trying to explain how somehow my brain is comparable to an American fast food chain children's jungle gym apparatus for a solid five minutes, but it was so painstaking and full of layered mental illness that I aggressively sped it up to spare your poor little pea brain and tortured souls, but in reality I just sound strikingly similar to an Animal Crossing character. I think some of the weirdest things I think about is I just really overthink everything in life. I just really don't think we're all real. Like, do you ever just think about how many people are in the world and they all are just people and they have their own connected branches of life and you don't know anything about them? Like, you just walk down the street one day and you pass hundreds of people and you'll never see them again except maybe in your dreams. I'm crying from leaving my eyeballs open. And then I think about like, okay, this is my biggest thought in life, my biggest question. I don't think I'll ever know it. Do you know how you're just you? Like you're just yourself. You're you, you're nobody else, right? And you've always been you since you were born because that's the way it works. But what if you were you and another you, but you never knew you because you were you? Okay. What if in another lifetime you were somebody else and that was you? And I'm not talking about like reincarnation where the, your same like soul goes into the new- I'm not talking about that. But like what if after we die, what if you just come back and you're another you? Does that make sense? And then you're just like this- so I'm Kaylin. But what happens if after I die there's this person named Cynthia and I'm just born and I'm Cynthia and I have no recollection of Kaylin. I never was Kaylin, but you're just living again. Okay. You know what? Let's have a weird conspiracy conspiracy. Let's have a weird conspiracy theory and like weird things about life that we all think are weird discussion in the comments. I will literally engage. I love talking about this kind of stuff, like weird psychological things. It really just gets me going. Like I don't know anything more interesting than like trying to figure out life. I, this is actually really fun. I really like these questions. Have I mentioned that? Okay. Getting out of the weird psychological questions. Now we're moving on to a new category. I like to call this one the Seven Supergirls category. I know you've all been waiting 
training for this. For now, I'm gonna answer a couple basic questions. What are your opinions on the SSG scandal? I know it was a while ago, but I don't personally think that it is my place to speak about what happened. If you would like to know what happened that ended up being the demise of the channels, you can Google that on your free time. But considering I was not involved, nor was I there, nor was I even on the channel at the time, I do not personally believe I am in the place where it's appropriate or respectful for me to talk about it. Although I was on there for a long time, it wasn't my experience to tell. And if I were to make a full video, it'd more, be, it'd more so be about my experience and clearing up some of the things that I think that people don't fully know about the whole situation, just of the channel in general. So my opinions on it, um, it's sad that something that was so many people's childhoods, including mine, ended that way. And it makes me sad that that is something that even happened because it's awful. Do you regret being a part of Seven Supergirls? I don't. Seven Supergirls genuinely, I would say, shaped me into who I am today, not to sound corny or anything. <laughs> like that. All the girls were genuinely doing it for the reasons they were doing it for. Everybody on there genuinely was just little kids and wanted to make good videos for kids that were safe. So, and this one is an interesting one because I'm pretty sure this was mentioned in other people's videos about the Sax channels. This one says, did you have a script writer for SSG? I did not. While there were some people who did have script writers on SSG, I completely wrote my own scripts. I came up with all my own ideas. I made all my own content. I put sweat, blood, tears, Weird makeup, screaming vocals. All right, moving out of the seven Supergirls questions because I would like to save those questions for their own separate video. This one says, have you ever tried to... This one's... <laughs> this one says, have you ever tried to murder someone or take advantage of them? Now, honey, I believe those are two very different things. <laughs> I don't think I've ever tried to take advantage of somebody on purpose. Um, I've definitely tried to murder somebody. <laughs> Kidding. I'm really glad we have some murderers in the chat. Uh, have you ever committed mass murder and had to be on the run from the cops? So relatable. Oh my god, do I have a story for you? I'm honestly starting to wonder if I should be concerned about the people who are following me. This one says, do you like the taste of blood? No, do you? How do you have sex? I simply don't. <laughs> These next two questions are from the same person and they're kind of similar. I guess they could be answered differently, but they kind of go along with the story I want to tell for them. The questions are, have you ever been in serious danger and what is the creepiest thing that's ever happened to you? Now, my friends, I've had some weird and creepy experiences on my uh, in, in my in my time. Being on YouTube, people really like to find out your information and do really weird things with it. I've had my fair share of that. I've had some stalkers. I've had people who have showed up at my door. I have had a secret admirer who sent me teddy bears birthday gifts and stuff for like years and we never could figure out who it was because it was completely anonymous and like untraceable but I think the scariest thing that has ever happened to me and the most danger I guess I've directly been in I'm gonna tell you a story you know what let me get some noodles I'm back I am simply saying Stephanie Sue watch your back there's a new mukbanger in town. I'm sorry. So I'm gonna tell you a story about the scariest experience that I think that I've ever had. Honestly, this feels like a fever dream because I don't actually remember it happening very well, but I'm gonna tell you about it. A while back when I was still on SSG, I think that there was other young YouTubers involved in it too, but I mostly know it because it was going on when I was on the channels. There was this man who somehow knew all of our addresses. He knew every single girl on the sack channel's addresses. He knew all of them, every single one. And he would send everybody letters. He had included everybody else's address. He included very explicit pictures that were edited by him. And the letters would include all these threats about like he was gonna come like get them or... So I never got one. And I always wondered why because at the time, Seven Super Rose was pretty well known and I was, uh, I hate saying this, it sounds silly, I was pretty well known, but I was pretty like well known on the channels at the time. Like I said, I've had issues before. So I've had my fair share of weird things. I've had weird threats, but this one was different. He knew all our addresses and he was like sending threats directly to addresses and it was like really freaking scary. Fast forward to just 2018 when I moved into this house. I had just left the channels and I was moving here, you know, my address had been put on the internet a million times. So I was kind of like, okay, you know, this is gonna be kind of a fresh start. In the process of us moving over here, we would go back to the old house to pick up our mail because we hadn't had our address like legally changed and everything. So we would go back to the old house to pick up our mail. My dad would go pick it up or yada, yada, yada. This was 
was probably in May of 2018. Around this time, we had heard news that this man was no longer alive. This man ended up getting caught for like everything he'd been doing because he literally put his address on the, like his return address on the letter. So eventually I guess somehow they figured out who he was and what he was doing. The police showed up at his house. I was trying to look up the story. I can't remember exactly what happened, but I believe somehow he ended up killing himself. So as we're moving into this house, my dad went over to the old house and got the mail. All the mail that we got from the old house had just kind of been left sitting in a pile unless it was like important bills or anything like that. One day we decided, okay, let's just go, let's just sit there and go through the mail. As we're going through it, all of a sudden we see this weird letter and it has this guy's name on it. We don't really recognize it, but we're like, why does that kind of sound familiar? And then we open it and it was a letter from the man. When I tell you, we were freaking out. We never knew that we even got a letter. We don't even know when the letter came. It could have been months ago because it, we were in the process of, our, of selling our house the entire beginning of that year. I never like get letters or anything. So seeing that was really weird. But then when we opened it, oh my God, it had all these threats towards me and my family. And it was just even eerier somehow knowing that like he had just died. So that is quite possibly the creepiest thing that's ever happened to me. The last question that I'm gonna be answering today is quite possibly possibly the most unsettling one. All it says is, why? Wow, that was a, a trip, all right. I'm gonna go overthink this for like 30 hours, but this is the end of the video. Thank you all so much for all your questions. If you wanna be a part of my next question video, whether it be this deep and dark and terrifying or not, uh, my Instagram is it's Kaylin Wilkins, so you should definitely go follow me on there. I have a bunch of videos that I have filmed and I'm gonna get up super soon, so I'm really excited about that. I've been feeling like really motivated recently, which never happens, as you guys can tell, just by glancing at my channel. But I love you all so much. Thank you for sticking around and I'm gonna go spiral all night. Honestly grateful for the experience. Yep. All right, good night.